Hi, I'm uh, Trent Brown. Uh, we farm in Nyabing, uh, Western Australia. Uh, mixed farmers, uh, cereals, uh, canola and uh, sheep. We decided, uh, we made the decision to buy a IHDSD um, after many years of um, rowing, uh, narrow wind row burning. Um, the IHSD was a logical step trying to tackle the chemical resistance but also with the narrow wind row burning we were um, burning a lot of nutrients and we wanted to get back to spreading all the residue in the paddock. So yeah, the only, the only real step without doing any sort of burning was um, going to IHSD. So the IHSD is uh, a, uh, a group of veins um, spinning against, one spinning against the offset of the other. Um, this is a result of, the, um, of the, the powder that comes out of the back. Um, there's not much left of, of anything in there um, other than dust. So the chaff is obviously coming off the, off the top of the top sieve, um, falling into shoots. The shoots are normally uh, positioned here, forward, facing forward. Um, it falls into these, uh, into this set of veins, so steel veins and veins that are running at 3000 RPM um, and basically uh, knocking every seed to obliteration. Many thanks to Ray Harrington for um, his years of perseverance with um, developing uh, what I do believe is probably one of the greatest uh, innovations in the last century.